here in the east, it's a race across the country honoring fallen service members. It started in April from Fort, at Fort or Irwin, California, excuse me, and is passing through North Carolina today. WNCT's Kara Gann caught up with the runner Saturday in New Bern. And it's so important to read every name and say every name out loud because as long as someone's saying that soldier's name out loud, then that soldier won't ever be forgotten. For Kathy Moore and many other families in North Carolina who have lost a son or daughter in the military, seeing this race pass through means so much. Hey, George. A race that started 113 days ago across 19 states, totaling 6,000 miles, has on, one week left guys. to run for those lost. Oh, okay. I lost my son in 2007, and you got to put one foot in front of the other one. And um, his name was read out loud in Oklahoma, and so me and my husband didn't get to go there. So we're here to support families who may not can be here to hear their son's name read. So we will stand in for them. Master Sergeant Troy Allen Chateau, United States Air Force. And every mile, the runners read a list of names of fallen service members who have passed away in the last 18 years. So far, they have read almost 19,000 names. We thought that one of the best ways of honoring those who gave their lives for our freedom was to compile a list of individual names and then put them on a tribute trail across America. For George Lutz, this race is his tribute to his son, Tony who was killed in Iraq 13 years ago. He's basically an inspiration to me and in the name of all others who have given their lives for our country, all these men and women who we run for. Lutz has been traveling with the group since the start in California. He said the sight of welcoming flags in each community, seeing military members run a mile or two with the crew has been motivating, especially here in North Carolina. It's been a tremendous outpouring throughout the state that we're so grateful for. The runners will end the race August 5th in Arlington National Cemetery. In Newburn, Carrigan, 9 on your side.